Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a new series on mathematical module in ComSol Multiphysics. I believe this particular module is very important because sometimes you may require such an equation which is not there in any of the physics available in ComSol. Then what you can do is you can design your own equation and you can integrate with your ComSol simulations. You might have other physics and hence you should need such an equation which will be compatible with the other physics. So this mathematical module does the same thing. If you are trying to integrate with other modules like you are working with electrostatics and you need another equation then what you can do is you work with electrostatics then select one mathematical module and design your equation and then integrate and solve. So today I will not be doing any simulation. I will be showing you what are the options available under this mathematics module. So this is the mathematics module where you can see you have options like PDF interfaces, ODE, DA interfaces, you have optimization and sensitivity, you have classical PDEs, moving interface. I have already talked about it, little bit about it in my other videos, deformed mesh, Yes, and mathematical particle tracing, uh, which I will come later. But today, let us just go with these two options because I believe this coefficient from PD or general form PD and this classical PDs. I believe those are very useful because, see, initially I am talking about the classical PDs. So, in classical PDs, you have the option for Laplace equation, Poisson equation. You have wave equation, Helmholtz equation, heat equation, convection, diffusion equation. So if you are an engineer or a technologist or a scientist, then we generally, we know that we generally come across those equations in all of our physical problems. Be it a heat, heat transfer problem, a fluid flow problem, problem, be it your electrostatic problem or whatever, we generally come across those equations and if we have access to those equations even though we do not have a particular physics we can actually model our need and in the so i'll talk about two things today one is let me go to this general ODEs and also let me take laplace poisson and wave equation these things and uh, i have taken global odes so let me take coefficient pds and general pds so i go to study make it empty study for the time being and let me talk about it one by one many physics i have taken because today i am not doing any simulations just I will be introducing you with the options. So initially, let me talk about this Laplace equation. This is under classical PDEs. So all you know what is the Laplace equation that is the Laplacian of a quantity or a field is zero. That is what your Laplace equation is. So let me check it. So this is the dependent variable. And this is the equation. So if we go, so you can see divergence of grad u minus grad u is equal to zero. So you know divergence of grad u basically gives the Laplacian. So this is not a vector class. However, I'm just mentioning this. You can go to my vector algebra and you will learn about vector in that particular series. Here we can have actually this equation and we can solve Laplace equation if we need it. Now another equation I have taken here is this Poisson equation you see. This is the expression of Poisson equation where with Laplacian operator you have an additional source term and f is the source term. Now one thing I will tell you this is f so f can be a constant or it can be a variable of I mean function of dependent and independent variables. So 
I will be talking exclusively about all these things. However, just for the information, don't feel that f has to be a constant value. It can be a constant, it can be dependent, it can be linear, it can be non-linear. So you can solve your linear, non-linear equations using this. This is OAB equation, you all know. That is the second order time derivative and second order space derivative. So this is the second order time derivative and this is second order space derivative. Again, divergence of grad of u3 having a constant c. So if you just remember the, try to remember the wave equation, you can see wave equation was something like second derivative of partial derivative with respect to time of a variable is equal to some constant multiplied by second derivative of your space derivative of the same dependent variable. So this is what it is and in this grad you have all the coordinates. So if you are working with Cartesian, grad will resolve into i dodo do x plus j dodo do y plus k dodo do z. So you have all this. So I am working with 2D and hence you see you have two operators dodo do x and dodo do y. You have this, now I am coming to the coefficient from PD. So if you go to the equation, you can see you have multiple options. Like the first thing is your second order time derivative. The second is first order time derivative. And those are, this is the kind of Laplacian divergence of this. And then this is kind of your convective term. You can see you you have the dependent variable multiplied by the divergence of that. So that can be resembling with your convective term and you have other terms also and this is the source term. So what you can do you uh, do is you have flexibility of import in, uh, inputting all the coefficients like E A D A and if you make it zero then this term vanishes. So imparting this logic you can actually model your own equation so you have all the terms so whichever term you need you just keep it whichever coefficient you need you just put and that gives you your equation so this is a very powerful one this coefficient form similarly general form this is almost similar but still I'll show you you can see this is the second order time derivative first order time derivative and divergence of a, of a kind of you can say a stress tensor kind of not exactly uh, and this stress having this one see this is a gradient of u5 and this is a gradient with respect to y so you can use this equation also if it satisfies your need so using all those things we can actually do wonders we can solve any differential equations and that is the power of COMSOL. You don't need to write any code. You don't need to know about what is happening inside, how you discretize, what is the convergence issue. You just have to use appropriate boundary or initial conditions. If you do it, if you define your solution space appropriately, then you are ready to go with any kind of equations. So we'll be continuing with this series. We'll be solving one by one all the equations which we come across in mathematics. So today I stop here and again I request you to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Thank you.